Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon and Libra Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 12th to November 18th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a, a general reading for Libra Star Sign and it is not your personal reading Therefore, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to, to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to <clears throat> see a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And also, as the Christmas celebrations are looming on the horizon they are coming around uh, there is a Christmas sale going on which is tied to the uh, 20 minute service 20 minute live reading service and basically gifts you a, a free uh, video answer to a one specific question that you may have after that reading takes place you know you can use it anytime you want so uh, that being said, this was uh, this is going to be the tarot reading first, and then we're going to the uh, Lenormand one. And we do have a, a four card tarot spread, the usual one I'm using. The first card, which points the Libra's topic of the week, that is to be the Justice card. So, um, hmm. well, how can I place it? You have to focus yourself extremely at the task at hand because the Justice. It's like the f how can I place? I really don't like to use that term, but I'm finding myself using it way too often uh, recently. Probably it's because something is going on with the sky on the sky, giving us a, a signs that now more than ever uh, we need to really start working for ourselves. But the justice here points that you should think of what is the fulcrum of your existence in the sense of the what you really want to become, guys. Right uh, for your career and for your relationship, and start doing something about it. And with the Justice card, it does look like that throughout this week you are to rearrange your priorities in a way that it's gonna help you tremendously to reach the point that you do want, either career wise or either relationship wise. The Justice is about balance, and you need to realize that you cannot do uh, one only the one side of the coin without taking the consequences of the other side when you when you uh, kind of like put a certain weight on the one on the one side of the scales that scale goes down but the other scales it kind of like raises up so uh, there is always a two sides of either one situation so there is always a two ways how you can approach a certain thing or also there are uh, a a uh, are two measures that can be taken etc etc what is important here and what kind of a point I want to make is that if you act in a certain way there are to be um, consequences for that either good or bad and that is why it's important throughout this week to really kind of like focus on that fulcrum of your existence all right so you can scale carefully is the results justifies the means or not also on a very superficial level as I said this card points that you are to clear up a, a lot of priorities and rearrange them throughout this week so you can make your life much more easier than before and if we're talking about personal relationships regardless of either are they intimate uh, intimate one or, or just a friendships it does look like that the balance is to be restored everybody is going to do their part of the relationship this is what I'm trying to say here with the justice car realizing that uh, being in a relationship either friendship Friendship one or a romantic one is an art of giving and taking and you cannot only give without take <clears throat> so uh, yeah that that speaks that the balance throughout this week is to be restored now the next card that we do have which is the core of the situation that will be the uh, eight of pentacles and eight of pentacles is like going through fire and water It's kind of like it's about going through the ups and downs of life and uh, this is what gives the base of the justice realizing this is the realization here that one cannot um, how can I place <laughs> well I would have uh, given a very gross example of that but um, 
let's say that one one cannot dig up the hole for a foundations um, or the chasm of foundations of a certain building without digging up the dirt from the ground so it's kind of like you are to accept that a certain undertaking certain relationships or certain you know in general enterprises and except projects etc 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 has their chores and these chores needs to be uh, attended to unfortunately it cannot go by without them you know for example uh, into a relationship you have to please time to time your partner you know or you you need to kind of like align with them to a certain extent as well etc etc also if you want to be in a relationship that is the realization that um, you may not found yourself or kind of like until this very very moment you were not very open to other people around and that could be the impulse the fulcrum you know that you want to be with someone so it's time to start going out and date people and, and basically socialize etc etc it's kind of like changing a standpoint here realizing you know that one cannot go without the other <clears throat> So um, I know that in the specific example here of going out and socializing with people, you may be just like me, you know, liking to stay at home, play video games, for example, read a book, but that will not help you be in a relationship if you want to have one. And it, it, basically you have to throw yourself outside of your comfort zone and go out and date new people, face new people and etc, etc. But what is important here as well is that now the uh, the easiness that comes around the the, the drop off of certain burdens and the priority setting straightforward into a specific plan is a result that you now have a keen eye for the minor details now you know what it takes that is what is important here you know what it takes and you put it as a fulcrum to your existence here and you move on forward with it knowing that should you be accountable to toward your actions and toward yourself it's what's going to give results the next card that we do have, this is to be uh, the challenges that you are to overcome. We do have the King of Swords, a very ruthless person, someone who does not care about how you feel, someone that does not care about what you need, they only care about the performance. And performance, uh, what I'm talking about here is, is that the uh, unfoldment of the, uh, of the undertaking or of the relationship. So uh, what I'm trying to say here is, is that if that is your partner, for example, into a relationship, they will not care how you feel. They will just want you to uh, do your work into your relationship. You know, do your part there, regardless of are you going to feel despondent or poignant or etc. etc. If that is your boss, they don't, they don't care if you do have a children waiting you at home you know to take care of them they will want you to do their to do your job even if that means that you need to stay extra hours after work you know so it's basically that person cares only about the uh, the, the the grand scheme of things if I may say that way that that, that person cares only about if the job is done and they don't care of um, what means are to be taken so the challenge here will be to kind of align with them because if you align with them uh, you can have a great use further down the road from that person but somehow they, they this this guy or a girl or a man or a woman are going to go against your belief severely having these couple of cards standing standing next to one another they severely counter each other as well so that speaks that this guy severely overlooks some important details and for some reason you cannot convince that guy or a, or a girl you know or a woman uh, in those uh, in the righteousness of those minor but very very important things and the last card that we do have this is the guidance how you should proceed on forward <clears throat> and we have the four of cups so for what it seems, the four of, the four of cups is kind of like an impulse to seek the new uh, the new amusement, new exhilarations into one's life. So uh, that card kind of points you here, guys, that you should again step a little bit outside of your comfort zone, uh, and that card kind of does not regards to your career, nor to your relationship. It regards to the small things in life. It, it, it regards, for example, if you do have a strict code of conduct, just like me, and not drinking alcohol. You know that card kind of may point you that you know a, a glass or two wine is not going to hurt you. Just on the contrary, they are going to kind of ease your nerves. Uh, from another point of view or 
you know uh, basically that card asks you to um, try a, a different things which you think and seemingly uh, they are to make your life a little bit more pleasant and they are, they, these things are to uh, how can I place it ignite a an, an emotional flow within yourself and within your environment it is very important because the four of cups otherwise takes apart the zero boredom takes apart the zero like steady and stiff routine uh, through which nothing really happens nothing extraordinary happens and that's why instead of sitting here and being indulged with what you already have as an emotional uh, contemplation it will be better if you kind of like turn your glance from those cups to the cup above which is something new presented to you but because it's presented to you through the storm outside or through the clouds it is a, a, a thing which is outside of your comfort zone it goes a little bit of a, in, in a contradictory with your code of conduit but in the same time it's not going to be a big mistake you contributing for it so that was the tarot reading for you Libras and now let's see what the Lenormand cards are about to say now they are to show us a uh, event that you should either uh, look forward to or uh, try to um, let me let me shuffle a little bit more or uh, kind of like try to um, avoid all right so let's see what we got here now the first one, this is to be the sickle, followed by the fox. So the sickle uh, stands for harvesting. It stands for tra uh, tragedy as well sometimes. It stands for cutting. Uh, then we do have the fox. The fox stands for lies. The, the fox stands for uh, cunning. Uh, it stands as well for clever and it stands as well for work. And the next one that is going to be the bear and the bear stands for resources. Uh, strong-headed power and um, a, a support so what what it seems here is that you are to harvest your efforts from your work it is it is basically a harvesting a, a work resources so your fruits or, or your labor is about to bear fruits and you are to harvest those fruits throughout this week and what we said here guys is, is exactly what is going to happen not to mention that the justice serves everybody what they deserve I didn't want to go with that generic um, meaning because everybody repeats that if you look into YouTube and I, I I like to present you the cards in a little bit of a different light you know trying to dig, to dive a little bit deeper into them but yeah the justice as well in its generic uh, meaning means that everybody is going to get what they deserve so you are to get what you deserve and it's going to be a positive thing for what it seems and we do have the uh, <clears throat> the confirmation here with the eight of pentacles because the energy of the eight of pentacles which is the core of your support uh, with the alliance of that energy simply you cannot do the things wrong it is impossible i mean you work it out and you become master of it so mostly a career reading it is just be careful with your boss it, it will benefit you if you please them here and there so you can uh, basically you know win them at your side because otherwise uh, they are to become ruthless towards you and uh, just to, just to summarize that at the end try to have some more fun after the working hours are over so that being said guys uh, this was uh, your weekly tarot and lenormand reading and again this was just a, a general reading for libra star sign and it was not your personal reading Therefore, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, that is a, a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.